Hello, this should be a pretty simple video on how to install the Nitrox mod for Subnautica. So first things first, you're going to want to right click Subnautica, go to properties, betas, and then click legacy. Make sure you're on legacy, otherwise it won't work. So I've already gone and done that. So we're going to move over to this side of my screen on the right. We're going to go ahead and download Nitrox. Then we're going to go to this GitHub page, Nitrox code, download zip, navigate to the containing folder, in my case the downloads folder. We're going to extract both, and you can move these wherever you like, but I usually like to have them on my desktop. So first things first, we're going to open up the Nitrux main folder. We're going to go to config.sh. Now you see here it's a steam dir, so we're going to need to find our steam directory. Should be pretty simple. You can navigate to it however you like. In this case, I'm going to go to Subnautica, right click, properties, installed files, browse, go back to Steam, click that, copy. And I'm going to go ahead and paste it in here, save it. Then we're going to go ahead and go down to add a game on Steam, add a non Steam game, browse desktop, find the Nitrox folder, nitroxlauncher.exe, select, add selected programs, search for it, right click it, properties, compatibility, in my case I'm using Proton 9, so we're going to do that, we're going to hit play, and now we're going to go ahead and go to start server, we're gonna let it run do its thing server should be good to go now the issue you're probably going to run into is if you try to play multiplayer from here it's not going to load anything that's fine so we're going to move over to the nitrux main folder we're going to right click it we're going to click open in terminal then you're going to want to type dot slash install dot sh space setup Oops, I forgot a quotation mark. It's my fault. Being a little funky. There we go. And now, as we can see, it says Subnautica and Nitrox are both installed. We're going to hit Y for yes. And we're going to double check these steps. Open your Steam library. Right click on Subnautica. Make sure it's uh, legacy. We're also going to want to do one more step. Properties. Go to the launch options, type dash, nitrox, base C, colon, backslash, nitrox with a capital N, and with a backslash, close out of that, good to go. So now everything should be configured, should be pretty straightforward. So we can close out of this terminal, and then we're going to go ahead and open up the nitrox launcher again, and this time... We're going to click play multiplayer. It should say launching Subnautica on the bottom right. If it doesn't launch, that is totally fine. We're going to move over to Subnautica itself. Because it's in legacy, because we put in the launch options, we're going to hit play. And it should say multiplayer. Yep. As you can see, click multiplayer. I've got my server here. Test guy. Test guy's fine. And you can see everything's running fine. So far, so good. It launches. Here we are in multiplayer. We got chat and everything. And type. Good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and quit out. And if you get an error like that, it's fine. It's not a problem. So now we're gonna go ahead and port forward. In your case, you might have to... You're going to have to figure out how to navigate to your router on your own. Because in my case, it's literally on the back of the router how to get there. So we're going to go ahead and set up a service. You can name it whatever you want. And it'll be easier to go with Subnautica. And in here, we're going to make both ports 1100. 
and then TCP slash UDP, click add, and then uh, add it to here. However, your router set up, it's going to depend entirely on uh, who you have. But if you have that set up, make note of the IP. Multiplayer, add a server, name or whatever you want, change the host to your public IP, add. You should be able to load it up. We're going to make test guy green this time. And now I've loaded onto my public IP. We should be good to go. Yep. Public IP works just fine. And there you go. That's how you install Nitrix or Linux.